what's up folks this will be a super quick one uh, I have been wanting to and have been requested to and uh, generally just have a desire to return more than one table in a mapbox vector tile formatted protobuf uh, from Postgres and Postgis and there are scant few examples of how to do that and scant few tools that actually do that. They're mostly examples and tooling that gets one table at a time. And you know that's great, but if you want to get five layers from five different tables to put on your map, it's not the most efficient thing to be fetching those one at a time. It'd be nice if you could put those together. And for life of me, I could not figure out how to do this. I was doing all kinds of Node.js buffer crap and binary blob crap. And guys, it sucked. It sucked a lot. See all these windows I have open? That's how much it sucked. But, uh, oh, also some other dude said, hey, I know how to do that. Can I send it to you? And I was like, yeah. Never heard of him again. Uh, but this genius of a human, uh, Erwin brand stutter has the answer and it turns out it's good old string egg I love string egg but here's the thing about string egg it says string in it so I forgive myself for not figuring out that this can actually aggregate binary bytey stuff as well it turns out it can so what that looks like in a query is Basically, yeah, you can get some, I'm just unioning two uh, MBT tile requests. So now I've got a return with two records in it, which is one more than I want. And then I just do a string egg on this common column. So when that runs, and I just got a single protobuf that has two layers in it. Ha! Ha! So... I've been playing around with how to get that into dirt and I just have a little working bit of code here that works. So here I'm going to get three, hopefully, tables uh, for this tile and I'm just passing it an optional shred. More on that in a second. So if I just go up here and just say, save that over there, and pull up the QGIS, and pull up the over there, and drag and drop. It'll go, hey, those are your three layers, and we can add them and draw them one at a time. How sweet is that? Now, I have some issues. My issues are, um, how do I make this URL be functional and not look like a hate crime because the current MVT query has like a you can get set an optional geometry column because I'm from back in the day when it was called the underscore geom now it's just geom like it's not you know the geom anymore so you got different geometry column names uh, Google puts them in there as WKT underscore or something you know so you got different geometry column names. You could have different columns you want to bring back in that MVT. You might want to set the ID column or the feature ID for that. You might want to do some additional filtering, not just by the tile boundary, but say, get me only the parks that have, uh, you know, benches. All of that. Well, now if that, that's fine if you're dealing with one layer, but now if you're passing in six layers, how do I also pass in all of these other things without turning it into a giant mess? This little test thing, all it really takes is a geometry column, one of them. So I'm assuming every single table you have will have the geometry column have the same name, which is, I, I can't say that's the case in my database. And a shred of what your, your data is in natively so it can transform that to do the tile overlay. 
And again, I'm only passing in one, so I'd have to assume everything in your database is also at the same projection, which in my database is not the case. So I don't quite know. I think it's going to end up being a whole mess of like semicolon delimited. So you'd have a geometry column if you packed in, passed in six layers. Uh, you would have to put in like, and the third layer was not geom. You'd have to put in like semicolon, semicolon, geom, or and that kind of craziness or for filters and I can't think of a great way to do this where it's very featureful but I'm still thinking about it anyway string ag you can put together uh, these more than one layer into a return and maybe someday if I figure out how to construct a useful URL for this that doesn't make people's eyes bleed it may end up in dirt I hope you have a great weekend I'll check you later bye bye